look, I'm kind of nervous about doing this video. The truth is, I don't want to bore you. When I come back from poor countries, normally I have video of starving kids or burned out villages. And this time, I come back with images of rocks? Well, here's why. One of the most desperate needs in poor countries, but one that never gets adequate attention because it's not visual, is iodine. Studies have shown that when a pregnant woman doesn't have enough iodine in her body, her child suffers irreversible brain damage. That child will often have an IQ that is 10 to 15 points lower than it would otherwise be. Worldwide, more than a billion IQ points are lost due to iodine deficiency. What's more, iodine deficiency can lead to dwarfism and large goiters that swell the neck. But the biggest problem is mental retardation either the more extreme form known as cretinism or, more commonly, a milder loss of intelligence. The darkness of the color tells us the content of the iodine in the salt. I mean, if there is no iodine, then there will, no, there will be no change in the color. One of the impediments has been the groundless rumor that iodized salt is a contraceptive, part of a Western conspiracy to keep Muslims from having babies. That's absurd, and it finally seems to be fading. Now, we don't think of iodized salt as a form of foreign aid. But in fact, it's hard to imagine any other kind of foreign assistance that can help more people with less money than taking salt like this and dripping iodine into it. There will be tens of thousands of people who will be saved from uh, being mentally retarded or suffering from garter. The amount that we are spending is very little. But the benefit that we get from this very little amount is enormous. The Micronutrient Initiative, a Canadian-based NGO, has been working with the United Nations to fight iodine deficiency around the world. Here in Pakistan, it targets the 900 small salt processors, like this one in Rawalpindi, that provides a salt for most of the poor in Pakistan. The results have been promising. Two years back, only about 14% of the salt was being iodized. In the last two years, we have reached to about 75 to 80%. The campaign costs about two cents per year per person reached. The World Bank has said that probably no other technology offers an opportunity to improve lives at such a low cost and in such a short time. Haji Sajawal Khan, the owner of this mill, has switched over to producing only iodized salt. The government said, don't sell salt without mixing iodine in it. He says that he's able to charge slightly more for iodized salt, but that the main reason he has switched is for the benefit of the community. There is talk that President-elect Barack Obama may reorganize the foreign aid structure in America, perhaps turning it into a cabinet department. I hope that he takes seriously the tremendous bang for the buck that can come from aid dollars flowing to micronutrient programs like iodized salt. So look, I'm sorry if I bored you with this video, I know big rocks of salt aren't sexy, but boy, we have here an extraordinary opportunity to make a difference in lives all over the world. In Pakistan, for the New York Times, I'm Nicholas Kristof.